हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर एट द लास्ट लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर नाइन लाइफ इन द डेजर्ट्स वी नो दैट इन द डेजर्ट रीजन द वेदर इज वेरी हॉट एंड इट इज द पीपल दे डोंट देर इज नॉट इवन रेनफॉल समटाइम्स देर इज रेनफॉल एंड समटाइम्स देर इज नो रेनफॉल सो पीपल दे स्ट्रगल अ लॉट इन द डेजर्ट एंड also there is no vegetation because of the wind the sand it keeps on traveling from one place to another that's why the people over there they cannot grow crops like the people who stays in the northern plains <clears throat> so let us see what are the things we are going to learn in this chapter in chapter 5 you have seen that water means life to plants animals and people it is difficult for anyone to live in places where there is no water to drink where there is no grass for their cattle to feed on and where there is no water to help the crops to grow we will learn we will now learn about the places in the world where people have learned to cope with extreme harsh temperatures in some places as hot as fire and some as cold as ice These are the desert areas of the world. These are characterized by low rainfall, scanty vegetation and extreme temperatures. Depending on the temperatures, there can be hot deserts or cold deserts. The people inhabit these lands wherever little water is available to practice agriculture. The first is the hot desert that is the Sahara. Now look at the map of the world and the continent of Africa. Look at the Sahara Desert covering a large part of North Africa. It is the world's largest desert. So you look at the map and then look at where is the Sahara Desert and which part is uh, which part of the uh, of the North Africa it is covering the desert is uh, covering the areas. It is the world's largest desert. It has an area of around 8.54 million square kilometer. Do you recall that India has a area of 3.2 million square kilometer? The Sahara Desert touches 11 countries. These are Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco. Niger, Sudan, Tunisia and Western Sahara. So the Sahara Desert it touches all these 11 countries in the Africa. When you think of a desert the picture that immediately comes to your mind is that of sand. But beside the vast stretches of sand the Sahara Desert is covered with there are also gravel plains and elevated plateaus with bare rocky surface this rocky surface may be more than 2500 meter high at some places this is a picture of the sahara desert in the sahara desert we don't only get to see the sands but also we can get to see the rocky uh, gravels and the uneven land now climate in the sahara desert now first of all let us see the picture sahara in africa see these are the 11 countries which touches the sahara desert chad sudan egypt libya algeria mauritania then ethiopia then somali rep all this okay now see in the tropic of capricorn this it touches in the tropic of capricorn tropic of capricorn is in the 23 half degree tropic of capricorn is in the 23 half degree south so see little bit portion of the africa it touches the uh, tropic of capricorn then above is the touches the tropic of cancer okay the sahara desert lies in the tropic of cancer that is 23 half degree north that's why it is in the north Af africa 
okay now let us see the climate how is the climate in the sahara desert the climate of the sahara desert is scorching hot and purge dry it is very hot extreme hot and very dry it has a short rainy season the sky is cloudless and clear here the moisture evaporates faster than it accumulates days are unbelievable hot the temperature during the day may soar as high as 50 degrees celsius so you can just imagine 50 degrees celsius means how will how hot is the area is the region when we are having 36 degrees celsius also we feel so hot and we keep on sweating isn't it but just imagine the people who are living in the sahara desert who are inhabited in the, who are hab, uh, inhabited in that sahara desert what kind what uh, problems they have been facing heating up the sand and the bare rocks which in turn radiates heat making everything around hot the nights may be freezing cold with temperatures nearing zero degree in the daytime the temperature rises to 50 degrees celsius but when the night appears it reduces to zero degree means in the daytime when the sun hits the sand and the rocks it well the sand it creates the temperature because uh, because of the rays of the sun uh, the sand it keeps on heating up and that's why the region becomes in the daytime it becomes very hot and when the night appears what happens the sand it starts cooling and that's why the nights are very freezing cold now flora and fauna what are the plants and animals we find in the desert we know that the camel is a ship of the desert now let us see in the sahara desert which are the animals are found and also which are the plants are found uh, plants we know that cactus with the thorns are found in the uh, desert region now let us see what are the plants also we find in the sahara desert vegetation in the sahara desert includes cactus date palm plums and acacia in some places there are oasis oasis green islands with date plums surrounding them now oasis a piece of land with a little uh, so little uh, water on it where people come and uh, people uh, come and uh, utilize or fetch the water from that oasis and near the oasis we can find a little bit of greenery over there we can see the date palms now camel hyenas jackals foxes scorpions many varieties of snakes and lizards are the prominent animal species living there see flora what are the plants we can find cactus then uh, date palms and acacia we can find and animals which fauna animals which are found in the sahara deserts are camels hyenas jackals foxes scorpions and many variety of snakes and lizards these are the animals found in the sahara desert now oasis in the sahara desert see near the oasis these are the date palms which are found in the sahara desert now people the sahara desert despite its harsh climate has been inhabited by various groups of people who pursue different activities among them are the bedouins and tuagregs these groups are nomadic tribes rearing livestock such as goats sheep camels and horses these animals provide them with milk heights from which they make leather for belts, slippers, water bottles. Here is used for mats, carpets, clothes and blankets. They wear heavy, <coughs> they wear heavy robes as protection against dust storms and hot winds. The oasis in the Sahara and the Nile 
valley in Egypt supports settled population. Since water is available, the people grow date plants. Crops such as rice, wheat, barley and beans are also grown. So, apart from date plums, we can get crops like rice, wheat, barley and beans. Egyptian cotton, famous worldwide, is grown in Egypt. The discovery of oil, a product in great demand throughout the world in Algeria, Libya and Egypt, is constantly transforming the Sahara Desert. Other minerals of importance that are found in the area include iron, prosperous, manganese and uranium. These are the minerals which are found in the Sahara Desert. They are iron, prosperous, manganese and uranium. The cultural landscape of the Sahara is undergoing change. Gleaming glass, cased office buildings, tower over mosque and super highways crisscross the ancient camel, camel paths. Trucks are replacing camels in the salt trade. Turks are seen acting as guides to foreign tourists. More and more nomadic herdsmen are taking to city life, finding jobs in oil and gas operation. The cold desert, that is Ladakh. Now, Sahara is the hottest desert in the world, which is in the North Africa, in the continent of Africa. Now, we have the cold desert in Ladakh. Now, Ladakh is a cold desert lying in the central Himalayas on the eastern side of Jammu and Kashmir. The Karakoram range in the north and the Zanskar mountains in the south enclose it. Several rivers flow through Ladakh, Indus being the most important among them, the rivers from deep valleys and Georges. Several glaciers are found in Ladakh, for example, the Gangri glaciers. Now, this is the Ladakh. We have Ladakh is a cold, cold desert which is in the Great Himalayas or the Himadri. Then the Karakoram range in the north, where is the Karakoram range? The Karakoram range in the north, okay? See, this is the Ladakh and here we have the range. This is the range, okay? This is Srinagar and uh, Ladakh is in the Jammu and Kashmir. Then the Indus, there are many rivers which comes and joins the rivers of uh, Ladakh. Among those is the Indus, the important river among all the rivers. And then there are also glaciers found in Ladakh. For example, what is that? Gangri glaciers. Okay. Now Ladakh is the coldest desert. The altitude in Ladakh varies from about 3000 meter in Kargil to more than 8000 meter in the Karakoram due to its high altitude. The climate is extremely cold and dry. So what is the temperature or what is, what is uh, the altitude, the height of Ladakh? It is 3000 meter in Kargil and to more than 8000 meter in the Karakoram. Okay, and due to high altitude, the climate is extremely cold and dry. The air at this altitude is so thin that the heat of the sun can be felt instantly. The atmosphere layer is so thin that the sun rays, it can be felt very much. The day temperatures in summer are just above 0 degree and the night temperature well below minus 30 degree. It is freezing cold in the winters when the temperatures may remain below 40 degree Celsius for most of the time. As it lies in the rain shadow of the Himalayas, there is little rainfall as low as 10 cm every year. The area experiences freezing winds and burning hot sunlight. You will be surprised to know that if you sit in the sun with your feet in the shade, 
you may suffer from both sunstroke and frost bite at the same time so because the sun because the air temperature the layer of the air is uh, very thin due to the altitude height of the ladakh so that's why the sun rays they it can be felt very much and even if you sit in the shade also with your or like if you sit in the sh under under the shade also in barefoot you may have sunstroke and as well as froze bite means uh, because of the uh, because of the freezing temperature also your uh, your body may uh, it will uh, like have some dots on your body now flora and fauna what are the plants and animals found in ladakh due to high aridity the vegetation is sparse there are scanty patches of grasses and shrubs for animals to graze groves of willows and poplars are seen in the valleys during the summers fruit trees such as apples apricots and walnuts bloom so what are the fruits are found in ladakh we will get apples apricots and walnuts Several species of birds are sighted in Ladakh. Robins, red starts, Tibetan snow, snowcock, raven and hoopoe are common. Some of these are migratory birds. The animals of Ladakh are wild goats, wild sheep, yak and special kinds of dogs. The animals are reared to provide for the milk, meat and hides. Yak's milk is used to make cheese and butter. The hair of the sheep and goat is used to make woolens. Next people. Do you find any resemblance between the people of Ladakh and the inhabitants of Tibet and Central Asia? So find out if you can find any resemblance. The people here are either Muslim or Buddhist. In fact, several Buddhist monasteries dot the Ladakh landscape with their traditional gopams. Some famous monasteries are Hemis, Tikshe, She, and Lam Lamayuru. So, in Ladakh, many people used to come for trading, like the Muslims and the Buddhists. So that's why in Ladakh we can see majority of the people are following the Buddhist religion and the traditional Gopams. These are the monasteries of uh, Ladakh, the Hemis, Tekshe, then She and Lamayuru. Now in figure 10.5, actually it is not 10.5, it is 9.5. Okay. Now this is the monastery of Tikshe in Ladakh, it is this. In summer season, the people are busy cultivating barley, potatoes, peas, beans and turnip. The climate in winter months is so harsh that people keep themselves engaged in festivities and ceremonies. The women are very hard working. They work not only in the house and fields, but also manage small business and shops. Leh, the capital of Ladakh, is well connected both by road and air. The National Highway 1A connects Leh to Kashmir Valley through the Zuzila Pass. Can you name some more passes in the Himalayas? So, Zuzila Pass is the National Highway 1A which connects Leh to Kashmir Valley. Now, tourism is a major activity with several tourists streaming in from within India and abroad. Visits to the Gopams tracks to see the meadows and glaciers. Witnessing ceremonies and festivals are important activities. Life of people is undergoing change due to modernization. But the people of Ladakh have over the centuries learned to live in balance and harmony with nature. Due to scarcity of resources like water and fuel, they are used with reverence and care. Nothing is discarded or wasted. So the people of Ladakh, they are still 
connected with the nature they don't waste anything which or uh, they don't uh, harm the environment they are using they are using the things in balance in ladakh then manali lay high do you know manali lay highway crosses four passes rotangla baralacha is long longlacha la and thanglala Thanglangla, the highway opens only between July and September when snow is cleared from the low. So all these passes, the four passes, it opens in the month of July and September. When the snow is cleared, means when, the, when there is no snow at all. Now this was about the chapter, the life in the deserts. So I hope so you have understood the chapter. So till then take care and take care students and thank you so much. <laughs>